In this video, let's take a look at the options Rhino has to model more precisely. First of all, the object snaps. Here you see them, a few of them activated and midpoint and center. And this means that whenever I draw geometry, for example a line, I can make use of already existing geometry to snap to. And midpoint, but also center. Of course, I can activate more of those. Intersection means an intersection between multiple lines. Quadrant means snapping to quadrant points of a circle. Tangent. Like that. Sometimes it can be handy to have a bit more information while drawing geometry. You can change this in modeling aids, because tooltips Let's activate distance, relative point and angle, and auto suppress. Now, when I draw geometry, you will see at the cursor tooltip the distance, in this case 18.974, the relative point, so relative from the starting point 18 in the x and 6 in the y direction and the angle. It will suppress whenever you touch one of the object snaps as you can see here. When you activate ortho it will make your lines go in orthogonal directions. This means horizontal or vertical by default. You can change this behavior by going to Rhino Options, again Modeling Aids, Snaps, and change the Ortho Snap Degrees. Let's change this for now to 10. So now if Ortho is activated, it will snap to 10 degrees increments.